Hello, my name is Timothy Coulomb, and I'm a professor of horticulture at the University of Georgia. Today, I'd like to talk about lettuce production out of season in a shaded high tunnel. High tunnels are typically thought of as season extension tools to protect tender crops from cold weather, either getting an early jump on the season or pushing plants into late fall or winter. As you can see with the high tunnel pictured here, there's some snow melting next to it. However, in the deep south, high tunnels can also be used to help extend the season of some cool weather crops into the spring and summer. Cool season crops such as lettuces cannot tolerate the high heat encountered in the deep south in late spring and summer. In the local food system, lettuces and other leafy greens are usually in short supply during the hotter parts of the year. However, using high tunnel structures in conjunction with shade cloth can help reduce heat stress, allowing for the opportunity to produce some of these crops out of season. For some growers, often marketing to local outlets, the opportunity to produce some of these crops can be quite lucrative. However, there's also risk involved. Because these markets demand high quality, particularly in terms of flavor, the taste and texture of the lettuce must be high enough to meet the market demands. Using shade cloth to produce lettuce and tunnels has been practiced for a number of years by many growers around the country. But sometimes there is still skepticism from growers in the deep south as to whether it can be done effectively. In our trial, we used a 30 by 90 foot high tunnel that was covered with two layers of plastic with roll down sidewalls. The high tunnel was covered with a 30% black shade cloth. Our tunnel here is pictured with 30% shade cloth covering the top. We chose 30% shade cloth due to the fact that we already had some shading due to the dirty, degraded plastic that we we're using. Many growers use a 50% shade cloth, particularly if they have newer, cleaner plastic or just a single layer of plastic for their tunnel. While we use black shade cloth because it's what we had available to us Time, we would recommend growers looking at silver reflective shade cloth as well, as it has been shown to do a better job of cooling than the black. While our sidewalls were automated due to the temperatures, they remained open for the duration of this study. We would not recommend using a tunnel without movable sidewalls for this type of production, since it would simply be too hot inside the tunnel to grow. We seeded 22 varieties of lettuce in the greenhouse and transplanted them into the tunnel on the first week of June. Everything was grown according to organic certification standards. Plants were grown using drip irrigation and planted in double rows, as you can see from the picture. Plants were harvested at maturity. Lettuces were harvested from the 12th through the 15th of July. We also grew a complementary trial in the open field, managed the same way. Many of the lettuces in the tunnel did well, while none of those in the field did well. You can see the picture here. The lettuce on the left, which is a green sweet crisp, was grown in the tunnel, right there in the row. The lettuce on the right side of this picture was grown in the field, and it was harvested on this day, placed for the picture. You can see the large size difference between the two lettuces. Most lettuces have good marketable size and flavor. The Salanova and Summer Crisp types had the mildest flavors overall. In this picture, this is a Summer Crisp type that see Muir uh, shown had a very mild flavor. Magenta, which is also a summer crisp type, had good flavor and good yield as well. There were some other notable outcomes. The harvest window for lettuces in the tunnel was very short. Some varieties, particularly the bib type, and some romains went from marketable to bolting in just a couple of days. This is likely due to the heat and compressed growing season. In this picture, you see a red romaine type that bolted prematurely and was not marketable. In addition, the red types of lettuce tended to have less color in the high tunnel compared to when they were grown in the field. This is a common response due to shading. In this photo, the variety grown on the left was produced in the tunnel, while the one on the right was grown in the field. While you'll notice that the sizes of these two varieties are comparable, the field-grown lettuce was simply too bitter to be edible. Overall, our trials demonstrated that shade cloth and high tunnels can be used to grow lettuces during warm summer months, potentially providing a market opportunity for growers. In similar studies, we've left shade cloth on tunnels until late September, but had to remove it by early to mid-October due to falling light levels and a reduction in growth.